everybody. Good morning, Europe. Good afternoon, Asia and Australia. And uh, good evening to the Americas. Welcome to day seven of Cricket's Current Yellow Diary. Day seven. This means no calculation, no cheating, no nothing. It is half time. And um, <laughs> I am very happy it's finally half time. Actually, a part of me can't believe that I've been in here for a week already. And the other part can't believe that I will be here for one more week. So, um, yesterday was a mixed day. I had a bit of a moment, like only a few minutes, but um, I was like right after the live stream, actually, a few, a few hours after I was I was angry and upset. I was really annoyed by something and I still don't know why. So I, I like while I was angry, I was reflecting, I was thinking, am I hungry maybe? Or am I thirsty? Or is it because of the air, because of the aircon? Or is it because of sunlight? Because I don't know how much real sunlight I'm getting in here. I don't know. But I'm happy to tell you that it was only a few minutes. It was only very short. And as long as this doesn't come too often and too long, I think I'm fine with it. And um, after that, I had a very nice moment um, that also have helped a lot with my mood. I spoke to a physiotherapist from Bremen. She's in Milan at the moment. and. Uh, she took a lot of time, like over an hour, to basically try to try to understand my situation here, analyze my situation here. We talked about many things. We talked about the mattress that I'm sleeping on, about the pillows, because I'm also traveling with my pillow, especially when it's a very long journey, and um, about my situation here on the piano, like because the aircon is coming straight to, onto my neck, and and what to do about it uh, to, to like basically prevent uh, be, be being tense and um, many things also like what, what I could do on this step so I'm I'm really really I feel like physically prepared for the next week now vielen vielen Dank Renate vielen Dank Barbara um, I think that helped a lot and another thing that also helped um, was my almost daily talk with Christoph um, as you probably know, Christoph Poppen is the principal guest conductor of Hong Kong Sinfonietta, the orchestra that uh, we're playing the Rachmaninoff with. And um, he's obviously the, the conductor of uh, the concert as well. And he flew in from Munich. So he is in quarantine as well, two levels below. And um, we talk every day on the phone, on that phone, not on the phones that I record this with, but on the on the phone that we have in the hotel room. And it was quite interesting yesterday because we were on the phone and then he got his food delivery and I got mine like five minutes after and then he said like why don't we why don't we do a video call and just like have dinner together? And I thought and I didn't know why but I didn't want that. And I told him that and he said, you know, it's funny, but I agree. I, it was just like, you, you have this feeling, let's do a video call so we can see each other. But then he immediately understood what I meant because when, when you're on this phone, on the hotel phone, you're, I feel, I feel much more proximity. Like I feel he's much closer because basically this phone is my connection to the real world or it's become my connection to the real world and everything that I do with my with my mobile phones is more and more so real so it's more and more distant and more and more abstract so basically everything that's happening on my on my phones could also be on a different planet it wouldn't really make a difference but everything that happens on that phone is real and having his voice on that phone for me, it, it's, it's like proof he's here. He's in my reality. 
he's he's in my, in my reality, and um, I I I just feel I'm not alone in this. And I think if if we were on the phone, it would be completely different. I don't know if this if this makes sense for you, but I think it's also it 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 shows a much deeper message of of how how our, our how how we work really how how psychologically how how like how we think and i have to give this more thinking actually because i need i need to reflect on it what it means that that i don't want to to talk to to someone who's just two levels below and, and who i haven't seen in a week um why why i want him on that phone and not on my mobile phone so that will be more thinking and um yes so uh about the piece that i'm going to play now i've played the first movement of the appassionata sonata yesterday as you know it's very wild and very you know you could you could see and hear why it's, why the sonata is called appassionata and now the problem is the second and the third movement they're connected to each other so it is attacker which means there's no real end of the second movement and i feel there's no real beginning of the third movement so i've decided to play them both for you today which will probably make this session a bit longer but um yeah now you'll have to stick with me for a bit more and um so the second movement after the wild first movement the second movement um is like a chorale it's it's a very beautiful theme that then turns into variations and it's to me it's a bit like 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 the milky way like you you see the stars and and it's just so peaceful and it's 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 in between these two dramatic mountains the third and the third uh, the first and the third movement that both of them are so intense and the second movement is just peace and beauty and romance and um, I, I, I do feel there's a lot of light in this movement which then is transformed into the third movement and the third movement is quite interesting because I mean the sonata is called a passionata as we discussed already it's not a name given by Beethoven but the third movement the the passion goes inside i feel it's a bit like a like a pot like if you imagine a pot of boiling water and there's a lid on that pot and the water is boiling so there's pressure but you have to hold that lid because you don't want the pressure out you want to keep it inside it's like in a situation where you where you're really upset about something but you can't show your emotions it's it's like like as if you can't like you you feel that anger but you can't explode and it it gets harder and harder to 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 not show what you think and to not show what you want to show and and i think that's the struggle in the third movement which then eventually in the coda after after this like it's it's pain it's, it becomes real pain not not to be authentic and not to to be you that in the end you finally explode and you're yourself but before that second movement and peace hope you enjoy
Thank you very much for listening. I'm a bit out of breath now, so uh, this will be short. Just a short heads up for everybody from Hong Kong. I'm very happy to have been invited for a live interview on Hong Kong radio, RTHK, tomorrow morning at 9, 10 a.m. Hong Kong time. Live interview. Very much looking forward to that. And uh, thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow. Same place for me and same time for you and me. Bye-bye.